So, good morning everybody. Quarter to seven in the morning on a weekend. And yet another ride test to do. And today we are taking out another grey Titan. So this one's going out to our customer Andy. And as always, the RB ride test just to show that the bike is working correctly. No lights on. And that is running effectively. But yet another gorgeous little Titan. I do like taking these out now. And these things are absolutely rock solid. I keep banging on about these are rock solid if you look after them. And just to prove the point, we had a customer in for his service this week on his bike. Fourth service. And he's clocked up around about four and a half thousand kilometres already in the first six months. So absolutely banging through the mileage on that. Uses it every day, does about 25, 30 miles to work each day and he's absolutely racking up the mileage on that zero issues on his bike because he does look after it keeps it clean keeps it maintained looks after it and he has got a top box on his and the alarm system and he absolutely loves his Titan but as always we're taking this one out get some mileage on it and just check that the bike is working effectively on the brakes, the lights, the indicators and absolutely everything. And obviously very, very cold morning, there is a lot of black ice about, so coming in on the combined braking system pulls up nice and solid. And then coming across the next roundabout, in on the front brake and nothing about, pull it up on that front brake, absolutely effective. And for the purposes of ride testing, like we say every time, 40 kilometres or 40 miles an hour, which is around about 60k. So doing a little bit of urban mileage to start with. And obviously taking it a little bit easy roads are wet, damp and very icy. It's around about one to two degrees this morning when we check the temperatures. But even on these tyres, as long as you take it easy, they do a very, very good job. Once again, coming in on that combined braking system, just checking that the brakes are all effective. And as you can probably see, I've got my visor up. And the condensation coming out is absolutely unbelievable. It's very, very cold this morning. But hence the reason why you wear full bike gear. Nice big pair of heavy boots, pair of waterproof trousers. And I've got my nice heavy bike jacket on as well this morning. Pulling from the off. They get up to speed very, very quickly on these. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do slightly different today. Because a lot of people said, oh, we get sick to death of you going up and down the dual carriageway all the time. Can you do a slightly different route? So we're going to do what I call my urban route. And just run it around town. Take our time on it. And just show you what it's like for sort of going around town if you're doing your daily shop. And even leaning that bike into the corners tyres are handling very very well in the wet obviously you're not going to be leaning it as far as you would in the dry taking your time on the corners adjusting your speed before you come into your roundabouts and just making sure that you do a nice steady lean on the bike but it does corner very very well in the wet currently 3k on the bike so we're looking to put about 10 on this morning further ride tests to come up with the second lot of 10k and then the final day of handover we put another 10k on it which is what we always do on our ride tests test these to the absolute maximum and obviously bike sales are still going mad we are on tier 2 of the lockdown but for the purposes of ride testing I'm out social distancing 
what better place to social distance and get yourself a motorcycle, you haven't got to go on a bus or train. Just take your time. And nothing better than one of these just to get yourself out on the urban commute. And it has now started raining, lovely. Thank God for bike gear. And just feeding it into the roundabout, scrubbing those tyres in, absolutely perfect. So a couple of questions that we'd asked about these, how reliable are these Titans? And I would always say they are absolutely bomb proof as long as you keep them clean. The obligatory coat of ACF 50, I keep banging on about ACF 50 all the time. Probably one of the best anti-corrosion sprays that you can get. I absolutely coat a bike in this stuff. And that includes all over the panels as well. Now obviously plastic is not going to rot, but if you've got some ACF 50 on there, that is going to repel the water. So rather than the water just sitting on the panel, it will bead and roll off. And then we coat all the metalwork. I even coat the exhausts on these. Normally the exhausts are the first things to go rotten on these. Like any bike would. Because it's going to be subject to being heated up. But I'd always say, make sure you coat your exhaust with it. Let it burn off. And that will stop a lot of that corrosion, it will inhibit the corrosion on the bike. But going through the corners, very, very easy and very manoeuvrable around town, these things. So if you're using it for a daily shop, top box on the back, pop down to the local shops, get yourself some shopping in the top box, and off to home you go. And the other question we had about these is, what do you reckon on the tyres? Yes, they're all right. Obviously, they are nylon tyres, but they're great in the dry. If you take your time, they're all right in the wet. But it's personal choice if you wanted to obviously swap up to some decent rubber. Something like a Dunlop Scoot Smart. Or one of the little scooter tyres. But the Kingstons, which you can find on CMPO, do a perfect job. I've never had an issue using the Kingstone tyres. Obviously it's a personal choice when it comes down to rubber on your wheels, your boots, as we call them. So it's an individual preference on that. And then the other question we had, uh, comparing these to like the Enigmas, the Diablos, what do you prefer? Now this is a personal choice, I'm not a lover of the uh, Enigmas. I did say, yes, they are a fantastic scooter, but the actual appeal of the looks of that bike don't really appeal to me. I do like a nicely rounded bike, and the Titan is one of my favourites. Diablo's a good bike. Now, obviously, with uh, Euro 5 coming in, and we don't know when it's coming in, it is set to come in at the beginning of the year, hopefully, but uh, we've no idea if it will be rolled back, obviously, due to what is going on with COVID. But a load of new Euro 5 bikes next year. Stricter emissions, thanks to Brussels and those typical Euro bureaucrats. So we will wait and see what actually happens on that. But there are a load of new models coming out from Lexmoto. I am sworn to secrecy, so I can't say what they are, but uh, look out for some uh, new 125s coming on the market. And I have been told by a little birdie, possibly a replacement to the adrenaline. But uh, that is just a whisper in the air, so I haven't heard or had anything confirmed to me, but there is rumours and whispers of a replacement to the adrenaline. Now, I did love the adrenaline. Lovely little motocross bike, one of uh, Lexmoto's best sellers. And I would love to see another version of that adrenaline coming back out so as I say watch this space and we will see what happens and the final question everybody always asks it on every bike video that I do what's the top speed 
Now with these, I would say 55, 60, you can get more out of a Titan. It is dependent on weight, road conditions, and obviously the wind. But I would say always around a 125, around about 55, 60 mile an hour. Everybody is like, oh yes, but my 125 does 72 mile an hour. Whoopie do. Do you really want that extra 10 mile an hour? Going a little bit faster for the sake of getting to work or getting to your destination five or ten minutes quicker no if you take your time on a 125 rather than absolutely pegging that throttle and ragging the pants off of it it's going to last you a lot longer than if you're pinning it at top speed all the time once again personal choice on these little 125s a lot of people said oh you're, you're not going very fast no I don't I don't go very fast for the purposes of ride testing obviously it's a customer's bike the last thing the customer would want would be pegging that throttle and just seeing how fast I could actually get out of it. Hence the reason why we ride test at those specific miles an hour. Very, very fussy about what we do and I take a lot of pride in what I do as my job as well. So hence why I like to take the time, run the bike in correctly, but during those ride tests obviously testing all the braking, the indicators and all the bits and pieces and you'll notice that I've come back onto the same ride circuit second time we always do two circuits of urban and then the dual carriageway I normally do these in reverse go out and do all the dual carriageway stuff first sit it at 40-45 but for a change up on the video let's do something different today and obviously being exceptionally cold the last thing I want to be doing is uh, plodding along at 40-45 go into a corner hit a pit of black ice and drop the customer's bike so hence the reason why we're taking a little bit of time today taking it nice and slow nice steady 40 mile an hour and 30 around town and currently clocked up 8k on the bike no issues whatsoever so and he's going to be happy to see his bike being ridden correctly. Now obviously every customer that buys a bike from us, we do that ride test and we video it. Simple reason being, if you are buying a bike, how do you know how that bike is being ride tested? Now I know a lot of dealers have so many bikes going out, they don't have the purpose of doing ride tests, they leave it down to other people to do it. But if you have got a really good Lexmoto dealer, they will be doing exactly what I do. They'll be informing you of the uh, how the PDI goes, how the ride test goes, how the final quality control inspection goes, and then when you come in for your handover, they're going to be showing you around the bike, telling you all about it. These are the indicators, this is the horn, this is how you ride the bike, this is your maintenance regime, this is how you service it at this miles or these kilometres. I'm telling you all about the Lexmoto brand. Now obviously, some dealers are quite happy to turn a bike around in a couple of days. Some of them have been pre-ridden or pre-road tested. But always check that how many kilometres you're getting on the bike. We do at least 20 to 30k on every bike. We try to get at least 32k or 20 miles on every bike that we do and run every bike for around about 45 minutes just to make sure that that bike when it goes out is not coming back there's going to be zero issues and you'll normally pick that up in the first 20 miles hence why a lot of people have been commenting oh my bike has only done two miles and i've had issues you know, they've just run it around the block mate and done a quick bolt check so obviously check out the dealer before you go and buy something and i have got about five really good dealers in the local area that know what they're doing and absolutely have a five star rating with Lexmoto so obviously check out a dealer if you are purchasing a bike once again personal choice and my own opinions and we've got the 10k on the bike I can now head back to the garage and get myself a cup of coffee warm myself up already got the hot ache in my winter gloves as well so Another quick thing, if you are riding in the winter, make sure you've got the correct bike gear. 
we see so many people riding in trainers at the moment you need a decent pair of bike boots they're the first things that are going to go when you uh, have a spill or have an off it's going to be the hands the shoulders the back and the feet and the knees so get yourself some decent bike gear you can pick up decent bike gear and kick yourself out for around about 200 notes ride test over heading back to the garage as always if you enjoyed the video click that like button down the bottom subscribe to the channel we're almost at the 1k membership now so that's really good on the YouTube channel if you enjoyed it click the like for us just give us a subscribe link to the garage down the bottom right hand side ding there it is down the bottom that's Eclipse Motorcycles and the website Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk and the phone number at the bottom as well 01908 643 603 check them out give us a call if you're interested in a bike so we've got Michigan's in we've got Iska's Assaults on the way and my LXRs have all arrived so if you're into one of those or you need a Lex Motor bike or a 125 or something in a bigger CC we have all that as well as always the easiest way to get to all my media off my page which is revbomb.co.uk down the bottom right hand side Clips Motorcycles bottom of the first page along with all the people that follow and sponsor me and all my social media on the last page that's Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and the Facebook as always notifications bell if you want to see when the next video is up smash the hell out the notifications bell and that will tell you when the next video is coming hopefully try and get out and have a ride on the bike tomorrow the big one we took Nini out last week down to the bike calf and they were only doing takeout hence because of lockdown but until the next time guys hope you enjoyed this if you've got any questions pop them on the feed below whatever you're doing this weekend be well ride safe and from RB and the crew it's a big goodbye from me